Hello and welcome to Soul Guidance with Adriana. I am an intuitive reader and a soul communicator. Today we have an intuitive tarot card reading for you. I'm going to be asking for messages from the higher guidance and we'll see where this goes. I'm getting that we need to start with these animal cards. So let's pull out a few. Interesting. Okay, so <laughs> these cards have come out in a reading that I just posted. So uh, the message is still persisting here. We've got the hair, which is cycles, and peace, which is the gorilla. You know, with both of these cards, there's just the energy of stillness and inwardness, the containment of strength, the containment of energy. And so this is one of those, you don't need to physically, actively do anything right now. This is about drawing inward and being very in touch with what you need to be doing, what's right for you, listening to the, your body for those physical cues, but also listening it's like listening on a deeper level. Do you know how sometimes animals can, well not sometimes, they just can. They can sense the weather or they can sense the seasons, seasons changing if they're wild animals. It's that kind of pull that you need to kind of sense not just like what's best for me today, but what season am I in right now and what's best for me? Is this a season of dormancy where we need to just keep everything below the surface and not reveal what's going on? Is this a season of active growth like the springtime? Is this a season of just total enjoyment of what's going on? Or is this the season of reflection and letting go like in the fall? <laughs> I don't think I really did those too well. No, I guess they were sort of in order. Anyway, so it's getting in touch with your own personal season right now and being at peace with where you are no matter where everyone else is. The gorilla is a bit removed from the world and um, so there's kind of, there's a sense that you might be in a different season than those around you. You might be in a different place, like maybe you're wanting to be inward and everyone is wanting to be outward or vice versa, but this is being okay with your own personal season. Okay, messages please, message from the higher self. Funny, pairs of cards today, second pair of cards, seven of cups and the three of pentacles. All right, what kind of choices are you making? What, what kind of choices are you allowing yourself to make right now? Okay, because some of the choices you're making are pulling you away from what you're trying to build. Three of Pentacles is a creative card, building something tangible, often with someone else, although that's not really represented incredibly well on this card. Um, there are, I kind of feel like the message here is just watch out, just be aware, because the choices you're making are not always in alignment with where you're trying to go, what you're trying to build. And I also feel like what you're trying to build is at very crucial foundational stages. This isn't like, painting the walls in a house. This is actually, I think the foundation has been laid, but now you're starting to put up the, uh, the framework, the wooden frame. And you really can't falter at this stage because whatever you do now is going to have consequences for the next three months, okay? So it is very important that you keep asking yourself, what are my choices? What are the choices I'm making right now? Are they in alignment with where I truly want to be in three months? So maybe that's a good way to think about it. If you think of three months out, where do you want to be? Is this choice for today going to support that message? Or that, is your choice for today going to support the outcome you want to have in three months? Okay, 
Any other messages, please? Oh, we get more than two cards this time. Ten of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, Strength card, and the Seven of Swords. We've got a standoff or a face-off between the Prince of Pentacles and the Strength card. You know, it's very interesting with tarot cards. It's very much like dreams or even like, to me, really good songs. There's so many layers in of meaning in, in either the tarot or the dreams or the songs. So I'm going to read this a couple different ways, okay? First, we're gonna look at these as actually being two people. We have one side coming from purely physical, monetary, practical, pragmatic, earthly considerations. And this person comes from this place of, um, of earthiness. <laughs> and there's also a feeling of reluctance to move forward, reluctance to take that next step. And they're meeting up with someone who is who has conquered their mind and has decided which way they're, how they're going to move forward, leading with the heart. So this is someone who has been able to overcome the doubts and the busyness and the, the junk of the mind and they are in their heart saying, I wanna go forward. But you see we're at a standoff, okay? The earthly person is only thinking in terms of earthliness and the other person is thinking, okay, yeah, but my heart is saying I need to go this direction. And I'll get advice on that. I should probably do that now. Okay, not, not quite yet. I'll get advice on that in a second. What is the other message coming out with the spread? So I'm gonna also now look at this as if it's all within the same person. This is your heart saying to you, you've got everything you need. You've got everything you need, absolutely. And your heart is saying it's time to step up into the power and the strength of who you are. But what is what test you're faced with is not is just kind of not knowing how to move forward on the physical plane. I don't I don't know how to move myself forward. I get I understand the wholeness. But this the spread is saying, and this may sound cheesy to you, but it's saying your heart will find a way. And the reason why energetically that's significant is because the heart is a stronger um, vibrational creator than the head. Okay, the heart is where all your vitality lies and the energy of the heart is the strongest energy there is. When you walk into a room, people feel the energy coming from your heart, not the energy coming from your head. So if you spend a lot of time in your head judging or criticizing what other people are doing, that actually depletes the energy in your heart. And that's why you know people don't maybe respond to that positively. It's like if, if you are a dog person and you love, love dogs, if you go into a room with a golden retriever, their heart is wide open, right? And they jump all over and they're so happy. And people just love them because they're putting out that energy of pure heart, of pure love and pure acceptance. And so the, the heart energy is stronger. So if you trust that heart energy, it will find a way forward. It will attract a, a solution for you. This isn't just like the cliche movie, like follow your heart and everything will work out. I'm telling you specifically energetically why it works. It's because the attractive power of your heart is the strongest thing you have. So if you desire, if you want a solution, if you want a way forward, you can find it, but you won't find it through your own mind. You will have to find it through your heart. Okay, we're gonna get two more cards to support that. Or is this a separate message? Okay, this is a different message. Okay, the Lord, 
and the King of Cups. You know, it's funny, same, same cards that are coming out from an earlier reading. And the cards were thoroughly shuffled, <laughs> I do assure you. So, what is the message here? Okay, we've got a message of dissolving control, the control of the Lord, the control of that protective energy, dissolving that energy into the King of Cups. Can you give me an animal card to focus this a little bit more? Polar bear, okay, ancestors. Now really interesting, we have this kind of frozen, very holding your ground kind of card here. This is about going for it, asking, asking for it. Whatever you want, however big you think it is, ask for it. I feel here the Lord is actually saying that you have the foundation, you have the power, um, you have everything supporting you that you need to ask for this wish. That's what's happening here. We actually have the Lord supporting the King of Cups, the Lord being the foundation for the King of Cups. So you have everything in place to support you. Is this help from ancestors or is okay this the only thing that might be holding you back is karmic beliefs karmic self-identifying beliefs from the family now what that means is we've always done this our family has always done this this way our family experiences this our family is made up of this or that and a lot of this is subconscious it may not be something you even realize I'm talking about like poverty narratives or dysfunctional relationship narratives or the the feminine energy un, un, unempowered or maybe the masculine energy emasculated those type of patterns that you can see you know with your parents with your aunts and uncles maybe with your children it, generational patterns and they tend to I to give us our self identifiers unless we're careful and so the only thing that can help, that can hold you up, and guess what? Back at the beginning, we were talking about, okay, what is, what's a message from your soul? And your soul said to look at your choices. He's staring at the Six of Cups, which is sometimes the childhood or the nostalgic card. And so it could be choices relating to that, the way you were brought up, that really doesn't suit who you are, but choices that were made or just the environment you grew up in childhood so if you grew up in a childhood where you didn't express your feelings nobody expressed their feelings you might not want to do that now but that's maybe not who you are maybe you are someone who is very expressive of your feelings um, maybe you grew up in a situation where money was scarce and it was believed that you you as a family didn't deserve that but maybe you as an individual are like, no, I want to make a different choice. I know that I deserve to have um, a life where I really thrive on the material plane. You can make that choice, but the, you're going to have to really be conscious that, that of that family pull. Okay, I'm going to get one more message here to close. And you know what? I'm actually being told to do an extended reading, which I was not planning to do. So if you'd like to kind of follow where all these messages are going, um, the link will be in the description below. And it is uh, 4.44 to rent that video for as long as you like. So let's see what we're gonna end with here. It's only a temporary ending, like I said. We're gonna continue in, in the next reading. Authenticity. So this is a perfect card to follow up the polar bear card. Okay, this is a perfect card to follow up what is not coming out for you, what is not coming through. And um, forget everything I just said there. This is a perfect card to follow because 
This is the self that is tied to the past, to the ancestral definition of who you are. This is the self that is only defined by the self, that is unfettered or untied to those family definitions. And what I love visually is this is frozen, but this is not, it's breaking up. So it's like you're breaking up those patterns, you're breaking up those self definitions. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this reading going. So if you'd like to follow me over, I'll see you soon.